Hi folks, testing out my new microphone setup here that I got with that kit from my YouTube coach. And going to give you a little bit of a garden tour. Got some wind happening, so I apologize for that. Hopefully it won't sound too, too loud. So, just in our planters, we got growing on, we got some dill here. We're just going to put a tomato cage in there to hold it up. Over here we have the spinach coming in beautifully. It looks like it's going to start flowering soon. And in this one, I have radishes. You can see them down in there. This one, just gorgeous. I want to say it's arugula. Yep, arugula. Look at that. Beautiful, lush. Over here we have Chinese green lettuce. And my herb planter. Cilantro coming in beautifully. My basil is ginormous. Lemon basil back here. My parsley is beautiful. And my thyme seeds actually took and oregano and this was um, another type of Chinese herb I'm not sure what it was called uh, hmm. I think it's like parsley interesting cool then over here we have Swiss chard. Here we have just regular lettuce. And this is the Chinese red lettuce. A lot of the seeds did not take. And over here we have kale. This will be for the birds. And over here we have our sweet garden cukes. So many seeds did not pop. And this one here, I started green onions, so I'll have to transplant those. I have no idea what this little guy is. And over here, we have our Burpless Beauties cukes. And these are the chives. And then I planted more chives also in here, but I don't know what the heck this is because they don't look like chives. And a little bit of sage in there too. And in this one, I have Chinese green onion starting out. I have to find a nice spot for those too, because I want a lot of onions this year. And over here in this one, we have gourds, hopey pale gray squash, beautiful. And this is my other herb planter. Got some creeping thyme. Some rosemary. Um, what's this one called again? Lemon balm. It's just gorgeous. And this was that globe thyme. Oh, sorry, globe basil. It's just beautiful. I still have to get my grape into the ground. I was trying to figure out a place for it. I don't really want it climbing onto the wood on the deck so much. But I was thinking um, maybe at the back of the deck, if we made a trellis going up, it wouldn't be so bad. And then it would also provide that spot with some nice shade. So yeah, this is the, uh, the deck extension is done. The extra 10 feet of deck and then the railings.
that was like 1400 bucks, but it's officially complete now. So yeah, you can see here. And this is my flower garden, one of them. So I got hostas in there. And I did put some peppers in there too. Irises, liatris, lilies, more hostas, peonies, my rubber plant, irises, I think this one is a spirea, and another giant hosta, but it's looking gorgeous. And over by the coop, got some marigolds that I started from seed in there, and there's the chicken oat grass there's the girls there and guess what yeah we still have Wally then Alex has his apple tree in training and it looks like something's been eating the leaves so I'm gonna have to do some inspecting here what's going on hi girls irises lilies I mean Gotta watch for that red Asian beetle. That's what will take out your your lilies. Oh, I see. Look at there's a caterpillar in there. Yuck. Oh, I hate those things. Ugh. And the old doghouse. Pearl, my little Boston Terrier. And some blooming irises. Beautiful. And I transplanted some pansies too. More hostas. Hostas galore. I love hostas. And then I had put a whole bunch of... Check this out. A whole bunch of wild seeds down in there. So I'm anxious to see what they're going to turn out to be. I also spread uh, gourds, poppy seeds too everywhere. It looks like a sunflower coming up here. Sunflowers popping up all over the yard. And in this one, lilies, more of the wild seeds, pastas, my lavender. Um, it looks like a whole bunch of sunflowers in here too. And chamomile. Oh, it's looking a little bit sad. I plant, transplanted my dogwood too, and it looks like crap right now, but it'll be nice next year. And then I just put my fruit trees around the back here, and I think they'll fill in really nicely in the coming years. Some of my grass is coming back too. And now we're going to go into the garden, and then I'll take you to the front yard. Okay, so in this one we have garlic, um, some, these are supposed to be onions, like what the heck is going on here? That ain't no onion, that looks like a lettuce of some sort, and a little bit of onions coming up, I'm going to have to transplant some of those ones from that other planter, and over here got some peppers. And tomatoes at the back. More peppers. This is where I need Hutch and Green Thumbs help. I gotta work on some of this later. This one got badly damaged when I put it when we put it into the ground. More peppers. These are the ones I started from seed, so they're super tiny. That one's a little bit bigger. So peppers in this one. And then I have my parsnips starting to go to seed from last year. And I have leeks in here too. So I'm hoping to have a good harvest of leeks. And the beans coming up, beets, and these are all marigolds. And this one, I only did a couple plants. Zucchini, right from seed. Last year I grew giant zucchinis. Looks like 
little tomato is just barely hanging on there. Gonna have to do good watering later. And this is a... Here's another girl that's gonna need some assistance. And more peppers. All on this one. I'm excited for the pepper production. And this one here, I have potatoes. Lots of potatoes we're hoping for. All right, folks, it's potato time. These are products of Canada. Smaller potatoes. So I'm in one of the raised beds, spacing them out by a foot, roughly, and going like three inches down. So that will be for this bed. See how it goes. See how it grows. Fish guts from our trip going into the garden. This one got them last year, so I'm gonna go over to the other one. Another girl, and then on this one I have carrots, and they're gonna need to be thinned out, and celery, and then asparagus that, and yeah, I want the celery. seed. And more peppers that I have to get some straw put into here. Jalapenos, and some more. And in this one I have a zucchini plant. I've never done a planted zucchini, so I'm anxious to see how this one is going to do. And then in these, I have potatoes. I should be hilling them up a little bit here. <laughs> Time gets away from ya. Yeah, they need some more soil and hay. Potatoes. And in this one here, I have along the back, I have corn and corn and sunflowers. And then I have peas so that the peas can climb up the corn and then another row of the corn and the peas as well. And same thing in here, along the back, with the exception of turnip. So this is all turnip. And look at this. No idea how that got in there. Interesting. And in this one I have another butternut squash. And holy cow, wow. So it looks like uh, the pumpkin seeds that I just threw in here, they're all, they're all coming up. Wow. And then there's this one. This was a mysterious one. I'm thinking this might be my winter squash, a spaghetti squash. And there's a tomato back here. So North was talking about free food yesterday little surprises in the garden and here's a honeydew so it looks like that one survived I am really shocked because I had broken the stem look it, it gets too much rain here right from my east trough so I got to move these guys to the Hugo culture garden I think this was a pumpkin too so that's coming up uh, no idea what that is but there's too many big plants in this one and there's stuff growing back there too So work to do and over here, we got another girl. Some random plants that we picked up. Pastas and such. I have no clue. I'm thinking that this might be milkweed to attract our monarchs. Pastas, the rhubarb. And back there, I have corn and beans. So those are coming up. Awesome. And something's eating this one. I looked earlier and couldn't find the culprit, but I'll take another closer peek later. Now let's go check out and see what we got growing on in the front yard and in the Hugo. 
and just some random beauty happening on my little awesome deck edition here and just looking gorgeous this is my relaxation spot so along the side of the house I just have hostas some longer tall flowers that will pop up in the late summer actually one's early this year so it looks like an aster to me I don't know what do you guys think so this is the front yard got hostas in there some bee balm I want to say some mini carnations they're just so beautiful but look at that mess of the grass I have to get that all out of there that's gonna be a nightmare and a half hostas lilies Fuck all these off. They're just day lilies. They only bloom for the day. Come and clean that up later. But a little bit of grass in there that I've got to take out. Rubber plant. Hostas and ferns. More lilies. Looks nice from the road, anyhow. And over here, my Weigalia is blooming. Gorgeous. And more stuff, lupins. I have no idea what that white stuff is called. Some irises are blooming beautifully. But yeah, it looks it looks really nice this year. I think I need a couple fuller plants, but it looks good. And then over here, this one, we trimmed up our our spruce. It's like a blue spruce last year to be able to have this garden space. So in here we have much of the same plants. But it's looking nice. Then over there, you'll recognize that is my lilac bush. This one here is a problem area. It's just a pile of strawberries and raspberries growing in there so I'm just letting it kind of do its thing but I do have to do some weeding but all in due time let's check out the Hugo okay so this is the Hugo culture garden and it looks like I can transplant some larger stuff it looks like I can transplant one of the pumpkins or a squash right into here and we have raspberries that have completely infiltrated which is fine and lots of milkweed milkweed growing forget-me-nots little blue guys we just kind of let this one go wild it's the Hugo culture Alex has already put some stuff in here and well that's good we did have rain so it does look dry but it's hard for the rain to penetrate. Like when you have big leaves, folks, try to mulch them up with either your lawnmower or you can take a whipper snipper inside of a garbage can to mulch them up a lot finer. Alex last year just went and dumped leaves on, which is not a great idea because the, the rain can't get in into your soil. So coming down here, we have some beautiful daisies, more milkweed, some irises, other plants happening. I'm not sure what those are, but we're just going to let them go. And then I had put some big mama tomatoes in here. I got to water these suckers and separate them. And got an iris over there. This, I think, is the bee balm that my mom gave me last year and it spreads like wildfire but it's going to be gorgeous and in this section we have some yarrow growing and lilacs and more raspberry bushes and some of the stuff that i had planted earlier did not take and here's the wild columbine and it's such a pretty flower gorgeous and that will spread too back there irises pasta not sure what this is 
but I'm gonna let it go and see if it will flower. What is that thing? What the heck? What is that? I think it's like a a cocoon. And that I believe is a ladybug larva. So yeah, that is the what's growing on garden tour of what we have happening here. Hope you enjoy. I'll give another update in a couple weeks. Yeah, bugs everywhere. And another thing that it flowers, but I do not know what kind of flower it is. So thank you for watching, folks. Have a great day.